Hi, this is Ash from Mobile Linux News. We're going to do a quick unboxing video and a quick hands-on. See how we get on. Uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. Uh, what's interesting about this one is the 12.2 inch tablet that's recently been announced at CES 2014. And it's got a mammoth 2560 by 1600 pixels. So uh, that should be interesting. So let's get on with it. And yeah, strangely enough, we've got a tablet inside. So let's have a look at this thing. Uh, now initially it's, it seems quite, quite big, but um, I was expecting something slightly bigger. Uh, so just to, just to give you a comparison, here is the Google Nexus 10. So we'll just put that over here. Uh, so it does dwarf it to a certain extent, but uh, like I said, I was expecting something a little bit bigger. Uh, so have a, let's have a quick look around. So on the left, we've got a speaker grill, a 3.5 uh, jack output going along the top got power button, volume rocker, IR port, mic port, going around to the other side, another stereo speaker, uh, and also uh, we've got the stylus, which I can fight with and try getting out. So obviously that, that looks like the standard Note stylus, which uh, I've got on my Note 3 as well. And we've got a camera at the back and this one is an 8 megapixel uh, there's obviously uh, another one at the front as well and the front one is a what is the front one that's a 2 megapixel camera uh, one thing interesting to note on the bottom there's no uh, dock there so previous sort of devices going back to the Nexus 10 you had the docking pins at the bottom there um, and I, I didn't actually bother getting a docking station with that because technology moves so quick that it's possibly not no point. Uh, so overall, it's it's quite a thin device. Uh, possibly, well, not possibly, but definitely a bit um, thicker than the Nexus Ten. <clears throat> Okay, let's have a look. And let's just power her up. So that's the model number SMP900. Now this has got a uh, Snapdragon 800 processor in it. And also we're looking at 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi edition, but there is a 3G LTE version as well. Uh, so let's just get the basic setup. So just uh, continue looking on the right hand side. Uh, this, we've got obviously the stylus speaker, uh, but I forgot to mention the um, the charging port, which is uh, a USB. Uh, B connector, which is the new larger ones, which will allow you to charge from a charge faster from a standard computer, and also we've got a micro SD card, which uh, I absolutely love. Um, I love dragging around lots of media, so if I jump on a plane or anything, you know, I can drag my own movies on or anything else. Um, and yeah, everything's fantastic. So. Here's the actual screen itself, and it's looking absolutely brilliantly. Uh, so I'm just downloading some applications on it, and I'll have a little play with it shortly. Okay, so we'll have a quick look what else is included in the box. So we have the standard quick start guide. Um, okay. And another piece of paper. What is it? Uh, so that's your warranty card. Uh, next, we've got the nice thick uh, USB 
B cable, so obviously that's got that the massive end on it, and apparently this will let you charge up to 900 milliamp hours from a standard computer, so that's nice to have. We've got a power adapter. Interesting design. It's got the uh, it's USB port on the side, which is good. And uh, let's have a look what sort of power we're getting out of this thing. So the output is two amps. So when you've got a battery the size of 9,500 milliamp hours, you do definitely expect that. Okay, this pin thing, which um, I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, I might have to revisit that. And I think that's it for the box. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the uh, some of the hardware bits of the uh, the tablet and also the user interface. So, standard swipe to get in, um, and then you've got your standard home screens. And this is this is where Samsung has changed the game slightly. So here we go into what they've got as their magazine UI, um, which you can have different widgets. Uh, on the interface, so here we've got your S Planner, so you can have a look a look at different events, and obviously it'll bring up your uh, your agenda. Here we've got Samsung apps that are loaded. And another thing that they've bundled in is Hancom Office, so that's built in, so you can uh, you can view and edit uh, Office applications. Here you've got a Samsung watch on, so you can use that as a remote control. You can hopefully. So here I've got it set up so it can have a look at uh, Sky. You can have a look at what sort of things are coming up. And then you can control, uh, control everything directly from here. One thing you have to say, this screen is absolutely gorgeous. And that's the biggest, one of the biggest selling features of this because it's 12.2 inch screen. And obviously they, these are things that you, you know anyway. If we look at the resolution of it, if you look at the size of the screen, but seeing is definitely believing. So, the, so this thing is really good. Uh, and here, this, this is a new screen that start, started. So here we've got music and you just, if you select um, select on a particular panel. You have uh, additional applications that you can put on. Now initially I saw quite a few other reviews and it seemed as if you could put any other application on here which you can't. You, you've got a predefined set so here you've got email, gallery, NY Times, S Planner etc. Uh, and you can put these on. If we sw swipe to the left you've got sw social uh, networks, Flickr, LinkedIn, Renren, Sino, Weibo, Twitter, YouTube, uh, and other um, other tiles that are based on Flipboard, so arts, culture, business, etc. So you can use all these to set up um, another magazine UI. So here, if we go back, should let us go back. Oh, there is. So that's our art and culture. It's just showing you stuff uh, initially. So here we're going into Flipboard, and as expected, you know you've got a Snapdragon 800 processor, three gig RAM and everything's working uh, really well. You've also got reading mode on this uh, as well. So like other Samsung uh, devices before it. And obviously down here you've got the hardware, hardware button uh, you've got your multitasking application 
button and your back button at the bottom. <coughs> So other bits that <coughs> Samsung has brought uh, brought along as part of Android KitKat to uh, to this tablet. So we've got things like multi-user multi support. So if we go into settings, and let me just remember where they are. Uh, and then here we've got users. So you can set up more than one user. So obviously that's myself and each user has their own applications etc so that is really good um, so this seems to build on uh, you know a lot of you can consider as the nexus 10 but a lot more of the strengths of um, of samsung so here if we click the battle button we can then use multi uh, multi-applications so here we've got one application swiping from the left. Let's get another application going. And you can split where you where you want uh, how much uh, screen estate you want each application to have. Let's click Hangouts, which I don't think I've signed into, and. Then let's have a look at. Let's see. Let's see what else should we put there. Let's just chuck Chrome. And same thing. You you can move that around to however you want. So. These are going to be governed by uh, the application that support multi applications. And here's the standard sort of ones that Samsung have previously supported. Let's edit. You can have some additional ones as well. And you can go back to there their home screens and then you've got other apps such as if we look at the calculator so opposed to that being a full screen app that'll come as what you could consider as a widget app on top if you minimize it it'll just come up there so that that can be quite useful as well um, some of the other changes that have come in with KitKat if you scroll down, you can have uh, you can have the small widgets to 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 toggle your different settings, such as sound, vibrate, etc. If you select another button, you have all your different options. So you got good things like screen mirroring as well, <coughs> and obviously all your normal notifications come up here. If you go into settings. Uh, the rest of this is, is obviously standard sort of KitKat setup with some additional um, bits from Samsung. So that that's a quick rundown um, of of this particular device. What you're looking at is a massive, gorgeous screen. Uh, the speakers on the si side sound reasonably good. Obviously, with anything new, they need to be running a bit so you can actually uh, hear the quality. So uh, I'm not going to quote on that too much. A massive 9,500 milliamp hour battery, which it's probably going to take forever to charge, but then it's going to take a reasonable amount of time to, uh, for that to drain down as well. Uh, initially, if if you're looking for the top end tablet, you've got the money. This is the thing, but if you've got something like a Nexus 10, then you know should you go for this? It's it's really at the moment without using it for a while. It's it's down to how much media you really consume, because this is a big device, but it's big and it's beautiful. So this is a quick unboxing, hands-on, and what I'm going to do is 
uh, live with the device for a while and do another video. Thanks, this is Ash, Mobile Linux News.